Project Seagate, um, it's a lot to explain. I could spend hours talking about it. So I will just try to give you the cliff notes right now. Um, I could give you the history, but again, that's, uh, let's just say that, uh, how am I going to do it? Okay. Um, an ancient, an old facility was found that was, that had basically been sealed off, had been found around 30 years ago by the U.S. government. This facility, this, this, this place is is still located um, several nautical miles off the west coast of uh, Puerto Rico. The name Project Seagate was, and, and the base Seagate was given at some point, I don't remember when, but I know why. So let me just say what my involvement was. Project Seagate is a, is a base. It's a military base. It's, it's it's operated, you can say it's owned and operated by the United States government, but um, there are multinational operations that go on there with certain countries that the United States have alliance to, but it's mainly United States owned, operated. And there are sub-projects, subdivisions that happen within this base. And I say underwater, underground, and but what I mean by that, because you know a lot of people go, they know of underground bases and they know of underwater bases. Well, the main base is below the sea floor, but there are some buildings, I guess you'd say, that are on the ocean floor, but there are also in the location of. St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands, and in on Water Island, which is one of the small islands off of St. Thomas, there are some above-ground entrances that go into tunnels, and then go up into over to Puerto Rico via um, small maglevs, um, magnetic levitation trains. But it's primarily under the ocean floor. Project Seagate, again, so I don't get off track, Let's talk about the sub-projects. Uh, one of them was uh, a sub-project that was dealing with very high-end technology, dealing with water, the development of water into things such as weapons, and, and, and even beyond that, even some stuff that I can't even explain. <clears throat> there were humans that were involved in that, but that was primarily alien beings, because there was a whole section where alien beings had kind of had their own research facility and only humans that had basically majestic and cosmic clearance were allowed to be in at only certain times when they were allowed to. Then there is the other side which actually it's see so many things kind of mix in. The other side which was the um, the Dolphin Human Hybrid Program, which is actually under the Omega Project. And the Omega Project is another project that I could get into that deals with a whole other scope of genetic manipulation. The Omega Project, under the Omega Project, they were creating um, human alien hybrids, which were for the aquatic super soldier program. I know I talked about the fourth and fifth generation. But this is a whole nother subject right here. And I worked with these things. I don't want to say things because I worked with these beings, <clears throat> these dolphin-human hybrids. Some of them were developed to look a lot more like dolphin, and some were developed to look a little bit more human. None of them looked exactly dolphin, none of them looked exactly human. But, you know, they had the ability, to, either side of the scope, they were very telepathic. They had the ability to echolocate, to um, do all the things that a dolphin can do and do all the things a human can do. Um, you know, hold the breath for 20 minutes underwater, swim very, very fast, um, go to serious depths. But the initial experimentation, which even when I was fairly new into it, they were having they had difficulties and 
there were a lot of um, mistakes that did occur. The other, and, and, you know, I'm not going to get into all the sub projects, but let's. I'm just getting the main ones, which you know, the alien development of water with technology, the dolphin human hybrid program, and then the real meat and potatoes. The whole focus, the thing that they found, in, in, in you know, the golden goose of Project Seagate, which is the Seagate, is what it's called. The Seagate is a portal. It's an underwater portal. It actually there's a huge pool that is about the size of maybe two Olympic pools, Olympic sized pools, I mean it's massive, with this portal that's underneath. Now it's not some just energy portal in a the pool, there's, it's actually, there is this um, type of metal, it, it's weird, it's like a crystalline type metal, I don't even, it's hard to explain, that encircles where the portal's in. Seagate portals, wherever you go, you enter it through the water. So you actually have to go in the water. You have to submerge. You go in, and when you exit, you're coming out underwater as well. They are all underwater. This technology is very, very old, and there are there's only one theory that I've heard that is you know really a theory that I've been working on of who developed this technology but even the scientists the white coats and you know the brass the the, the high-end military and all the government officials and even the greys and even the reptilians they have no idea who developed this they themselves have some theories but it, it's it's still technically a mystery on who developed this technology but it's very very old and it's very, very powerful because um, it can be used for basically three things. It can be used for traveling off planet. It can be used for interdimensional travel. Um, and that goes into the Omega side of the Solus Beings project, uh, which is another sub-project. Or it can be used for time travel. And it's a very complicated system. I don't have the schematics with me. I actually have a schematic of the um, of the facility and it required it's a very complicated uh, it's hard to explain without having my schematic but um, it's not as simple as flicking a button you dive in you go through and you're somewhere else there is a process that has to be done and I guess that would get to what I was doing there my role there which was my main role was I was a Project Seagate super soldier who traveled through the Seagate to conduct whatever operations I was directed to conduct.